What's up everybody and welcome into today's video where we are talking about flipping out of state properties, how we are finding out of state properties, how we are basically doing everything from start to finish. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We are the cream cash flow, real estate and money, full-time real estate investors. We own and operate a portfolio valued over $50 million and we consistently bring in over six figures every single month in our flipping business. We do everything from wholesaling, novations, fix and flip. Uh, here on this channel, we are with you every step of the way. We show exactly what we are doing, the deals that we are doing, how we're finding deals, and we are grateful for you. Happy that you're here and grateful to be on this real estate investing path with you. And here's the thing, everybody, we're talking about out-of-state properties. I'm a very conservative investor, and when we coach people, I coach people to really avoid the out-of-state flipping. And let me rephrase this, not necessarily avoid out-of-state flipping, but avoid taking title to out-of-state properties, avoid raising money on out-of-state properties, and avoid doing managing construction on out-of-state properties. I am very big into wholesaling and doing novations on out-of-state properties because there's so little risk when it comes to that style of investing. Because in a wholesale innovation type strategy, all you're doing is basically controlling the property with a contract and you're not owning the property. Risk comes into play every time you're owning real estate. And in order to own real estate, most times, I mean, 99 times out of 100, you're not using all of your own cash to own this property. So you're taking on some debt. So risk comes into play in real estate whenever you're taking on debt and whenever you're managing rehabs. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You know, a contractor, a, a bad contractor can be more detrimental to your real estate investing business than even a bad tenant, a bad seller, a bad buyer anything like that. So you really got to you really got to watch yourself when you're managing construction even when it's local, even when it's in your own backyard if you don't know how to really manage construction um you could find yourself in a pickle from time to time. But with that is what we coach, we help people manage contractors. We we treat our contractors like family to be completely upfront because they're a key component to our real estate business. And, you know, that's here locally. We are we own and operate properties here in Ohio. The property I'm showing you today is in Dallas, Texas. So first off, let me just kind of share what we did to find this property. Talking about finding out of state properties, flipping out of state properties. Here's the property. And this is actually a townhome. It's in Dallas, Texas. And we found this property from our pay-per-click advertising campaigns. And one thing I really like about the PPC method or the pay-per-click Google advertising is you can point these ads to sellers in really any geography that you want. So we know we have a team set up and I'm going to talk more about our team down in the Dallas area, which is allowing us to own and, you know, to, to operate these deals. Um, but since we have a team in this area, we are now pointing our Google ad, our Google ad spend towards this marketplace. And this is a lead that came in off of our Google PPC ads. I'm going to show you pictures of this property. We're going to talk about the scenario, the situation. There was a probate situation involved. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's when somebody passes away. So we had to go through some hoops here to get this deal. Um, but you can see it on Zillow. I blocked the address just for internet sake. And the Zestimate is 350. I'm going to show you real life comparables on this deal as well. But I'll just let the cat out of the bag. I'm really excited for you to see the pictures and whatnot and kind of why we got such a good discount. We're all into this deal for 230. So we got meat on the bone here. It's a slam dunk deal. And I will let you see the pictures. We're gonna have to do some work on this thing, but it's all about the numbers at the end of the day. You know, the risk gets mitigated, the better the numbers are. 
right? And that's like anything else. Like when you're getting a great deal on something, there is more room for error. We're getting a great deal on this particular one. It is our first fix and flip ever out of Ohio, I believe. I think so. I think it's our first one out of Ohio. But we do, we do a ton of them here in Ohio. But, you know, this is our first one in Dallas, Texas. Definitely our first property in Texas. So um, here's some more comparables. I took out the street name, but this is interesting. You know, when it comes to this style of property, this is a townhome or a condo. And that makes it so it's very easy to comp out because you can look at very similar units and what they're selling for right in this same complex of other similar units, right? I am not a big fan of owning rental properties when it comes to townhomes and condos because you got to deal with an HOA, a homeowners association. It's expensive, et cetera. And, um, you know, they could change the rules on you at any time. They can say no more renting or whatever they, you know, an HOA could be a pain in the butt. But when it comes to flipping properties, I'm totally fine flipping properties when the numbers make sense. This happens to be a townhome, but that makes it easy to comp out. So we're looking at stuff here, 2024. I mean, this thing, the Zestimate was 381. It sold for 452. So if this is any inclination of uh, essentially what's going on here. This was 381 on Zillow and it sold for 452. Ours is 349 on Zillow. Maybe we can sell it for 360. And I will also give you some insight here. We're not going for max retail. We're probably, I mean, even if we sell it at 300 or something like that, we're gonna be able to make good money on this. We're all in for 230. So it's a good deal. Another comparable sold in 2024 for 495.5. Here's one sold in 2024 for 470. Now these are aggressive comparables. Okay. I'm going to show you the pictures here, but even if these comparables are aggressive, we're still getting a smoking deal by being all in. That's purchase and rehab for 230. So here's some pictures of the interior of the property. I personally live in Ohio, so I've never looked at this property, but we did send over our realtor. What's making this deal happen is we have a boots on the ground, awesome realtor who is gonna manage the rehab on this as well as list the property. So we're gonna pay this realtor a project management fee as well as a real estate commission when they sell this property. Now you can see a giant hole in the roof here. Um, there's obviously some leaking and things like that on the upstairs, probably in the upstairs bathroom and it leaked. They fixed that. We're gonna make sure everything is in tip top shape. Where do you see the paint job on this particular property? We're gonna to need to paint this thing, okay? It looks like, look at the uh, upper trim here. It looks like they were like attempting to continue this paint job. I guess it's kind of, you know, fancy. I don't know what they were doing, eating some gummies or, you know, hallucinating or what they were doing. Maybe that's just their style. I think it's kind of a unique pattern, but not for the, what we're trying to do here, which is sell this property to a retail family who's going to live here, right? I don't think they really want these boxes in this particular shape. So we're going to need to do some heavy duty painting, but that's not a big deal. Here's the bathroom. It's definitely dirty. Take a look at that sink. And that paint, again, is that, that dark orange paint. We're going to make this all neutral colors. And uh, we're going to rip out all these vanities. You know, it's all going to be brand new when we get done with this. Here's the kitchen. You can see the cabinets are pretty old. All of this needs to be replaced. You can see also the appliances. It's this old uh, dishwasher in the lower right corner and uh, an old fridge. All of that's going to be replaced. But here's the thing. All in for 230. Private lender is funding 100% of our purchase and rehab. So we're getting a loan for 230, paying 10% plus two points. And I just want to say if you're considering doing something out of state before you raise private money, if you don't have a lot of experience, I suggest you wholesale and or do novations so you don't have the risk. I'm telling you that we just raised private money. That means there's risk involved in this particular deal. I don't want you guys taking unnecessary risk if you are new.
So we're pretty experienced and what's making this deal happen is we have a realtor, we have a team, someone we know, like, and trust. We've known this person for years just through other real estate masterminds and we're happy to make money with this person. We know they're gonna get the job done because they're not a newbie. It's not just somebody we met on the internet. We've known this person for years. So here's our plan. We're gonna fix this property up in the, in the next two to three weeks. We're gonna go ahead and list this for 305. I already shared with you the comparables. I mean, we got some pretty high comps here in the high threes and fours. I wanna list it for 305 and see if we can get a lot of activity on this thing since we're only in for the you know 230. So even in the idea is to get multiple offers on this property quickly, right? So we're comparing apples to apples. We got a really good unit. We see what these other units are trading at. We wanna list it in such a way where we can get multiple offers, where we can get people competing for our property. Ideally sell it for 315, 320, even if we sold it for just 305, which would be the lowest sale in all of 2024 at 305, paid 21K in commissions. Uh, we've got to, that, that leaves us at 283. 283 minus our private money. So we're going to pay back our loan of the 230 plus their two points plus any interest. I'm being aggressive here in my comparables or I'm sorry, in my estimates, but that still leaves us a 43K profit. And we're looking to have this thing in contract in the next six or in the next 30 days, closed in the next 60 days. And ideally higher than 305. It's still a smoking deal. Ideally, we want to get multiple offers on this thing, 315, 320. We'll take it. Everything above, you know, 305 adds on to that 43k profit. So we feel pretty good about the deal. And I really cannot stress enough, you know, before you take on debt, before you take on rehabs, you gotta have a team and you really gotta have experience or have a coach. And that's what we do. I have a link below if you want to hop on a call with myself, my business partner, or someone on our team and talk about our coaching. We coach people all over the U.S. So you can find these deals, set up your PPC campaigns if that's what you want to do. Uh, it's working very well for us. Get on the phone with motivated sellers. Learn how to talk to these sellers and negotiate with these sellers. Learn how to get great deals just like this one in contract. Learn how to raise money, learn how to wholesale, do novations, fix and flips, build a portfolio. That's what we're all about. That's what we teach. We're on the phone with our clients, our coaching clients, every single week, holding you accountable so you can be successful in this business. Now, here's the next move we're going to take here, and that is we're going to target marketing right where we have the team and the resources. Now, this is our first one, but assuming this goes well, now what we want to do is go find 10 more of these. So we want to be strategic with our marketing and we're going to do that through pay-per-click advertising as well as we're going to use the Deal Machine app. And you could check out Deal Machine. That's going to be in our link tree link, which is below. Um, and we're just going to target the same exact area. In fact, we're going to use this unit as an example and maybe do a little direct mail campaign right in that area and we're gonna say, hey, we just bought your neighbor's property for all cash, contact us today for a no obligation assessment or a no obligation offer on your property. That'll get the people on the phone so we could use this now example. We know that we can buy and sell in this area. We wanna go find more properties. I think that's a huge mistake when a real estate investor closes on a property but then doesn't target more properties right in that area right in that vicinity, right? When you have the team set up, you know, just kind of reverse engineer this thing and find more deals, keep your team busy, you know, and you can make a lot of money in one, we call it a little honey hole. We give, you know, we find one area, our team is set up there. We know what people are paying for these properties. We know we can buy and sell in this area and just be a sniper and focus on finding more deals. So if you're interested in learning more, about our coaching, creamlaunch.com. There'll be a link in the description. Let me know in the comments as well. Are you interested in doing out-of-state or have you successfully done some out-of-state stuff? If so, let me know. If not, you know, please subscribe to the channel. We're gonna guide you through this so you can take less risk, be successful, and uh, ultimately let's create longevity here. We wanna be successful for the long term. So. Everybody, make it a great weekend, and we will see you all on the next.